Hello friends. I can't believe tonight is our last night of Freedom Culture for the year. Things have been super different this year. For one thing, we started the Freedom Culture program. The pace of the class changed a bit. And another thing, most of this semester we've been watching class from our own homes. Many things changed, but we believe that all of these things are working together for God's purpose. One thing we knew we wanted for this year was more time for our kids and volunteers to build relationships. Through this stay at home order, we've had to change the way we do that. I think what we are going to see when we get back to normal life is a deeper desire for God-given relationships and God's purpose in our lives. Have you felt the hunger for knowing the Lord more deeply as you've been at home? To spend time in his presence and his word every day? Did it feel like your sanity depended on it? Well, then this word is perfect for you today. Our topic, what is spiritual hunger? Psalm 119, 81, my soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. Some of you will recall that most of the Psalms were written by an incredible man called David. David, the humble shepherd who was anointed by Samuel the prophet to become king of Israel. God wanted to exalt a man who sought after God's heart and ambition and not his own. You see, the scripture shows that David's greatest desire was for the salvation of the Lord. Psalm 119, 72. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Psalm 119, 103. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Psalm 119, 127. Therefore, I love your commandments above gold, above fine gold. You can see from these three scriptures how David values the word of God. He values it greater than silver and gold and sweeter than honey. He valued the word of God more than the greatest treasures known to man because he understood their true worth. Some people are eager or hungry for earthly riches, money, fame, even respect. But David knew true treasure was found in the word of God and that was the treasure he longed for. Psalm 84, one through two. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Again, a psalm written by David, who describes the presence of the Lord as lovely. That the thought of being near the living God made him want to sing for joy. Have you ever felt that way about a friend? The idea of being around them just makes your heart so happy. That's just a taste of how David feels about the Lord's presence. Matthew 5, 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. We know that being righteous is to be made right. We can only be made right by being like God. In order to be like God, we have to know his ways and know his heart by spending time with him. Jesus said in this verse that those who thirst or greatly desire to spend time with God, to be like him, are blessed. This reminds me of a kid wanting to spend time with their parent and to be just like them. That's how we should long to spend time with our Heavenly Father. Jeremiah 15, 16, your words were found and I ate them and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Jeremiah said of the Lord's word that they brought him joy. They were a true delight to his heart. It actually says that he ate the word of God. And no, he literally didn't pick up the word and eat it, but he might as well have because he understood a great truth about the word. You see, our physical bodies need nourishment. We need water and food. When we don't give our body what it needs, it starts to act up. Our tummies growl in anger, our throats get tight and dry. We get dizzy, we feel sick, we have no energy, and eventually, boys and girls, our bodies shut down. Well, the truth that Jeremiah and David understood is this. Your heart, your soul, needs food too. Your spirit has its own way of communicating when it's hungry and thirsty too. You might feel sad a lot. You might feel emotional. You have no energy. You might feel mad about things that you know are silly. Maybe you're struggling with selfishness. All of these are signs that you are spiritually hungry. You need a different kind of food, spiritual food. Our spirits need to be close to God who quenches our thirst and hunger. He feeds us with the word of God, the food to our souls. His presence brings refreshment to our dry, cracked, tired throats. His presence and words bring healing to our souls. So if you are feeling tired in your heart or sad or angry or anything else, then eat up. Let God feed your soul. I love you guys. 
and we pray for a safe and blessed summer for you all. We can't wait to see you back next year. It's going to be awesome. And we just want to close in prayer and say a quick blessing over you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for these boys and girls, Father. And we pray that they feel blessed over the summer, Father, that they feel encouraged, that they press into you, Father, even more. I pray, Lord, that you um, make this the greatest summer ever for these boys and girls, that you bless it beyond their expectations. We love you, Lord. Thank you for each volunteer and each kid. And we just praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. We'll see you later.